Welcome to number 61, Chinuch at Home. Thank you, Shiva Dachalia, and thank you, Chazak, TorahAnytime.com. We're learning about how to teach our children financial responsibility. This is huge. It happens to be one of the four generic items that every single Jewish parent is mukhuyev, obligated to teach their child. First one is to teach the child Torah. The second is to teach the child an umnus, a way of having a financial income so that they are independent financially. Third is to marry them off. And number four is to swim. If you look carefully, you'll realize all of these are about the same theme, independence. How do we prepare our children to be total functioning adults in the adult world? So when it comes to Torah, you want the child to be his own independent ring uh, in the chain of the Masara. When it comes to earning a living, you don't want him to be Tali, but Dasachirim, requiring everyone else uh, to help him out or to be Soymach um, al Shulchan Achirim, as the expression of Chazal, our sages tell us, to be dependent on someone else's table for a handout. That is not the Torah way. The Torah wants us to be able to take care of ourselves. It gives us self-dignity, enables us to have self-respect, and even respect in the eyes of others. But the main idea really is, it's a, it's a pasuk in the Torah, Yegir Kapecha, uh, those who have toiled from the work of their own palms, their own hands, Ashrecha uh, V'toivlach, happy are you and good is your portion. Happy are you in this world and good is your portion in the world to come because you didn't take from others. So this is, a hu- this is really, really huge. So um, I'm going to share with you some super simple ways to help train our children in the young years, in the younger years, because this is not something that you're going to find in the regular yeshiva curriculum, unless you're following the Alpi Darkai curriculum, where we do, have, we do actually have a component of this. Um, who are we waiting for our children to learn financial responsibility? Who are we waiting to teach to our children financial principles and how, how to have an internal financial compass that points in the direction of, does this make sense? Is this responsible to borrow money that I don't have a means of paying back? Is that permitted? Uh, to borrow on interest, not knowing how I'm going to be really paid back? I'll trust Hashem. I mean, how, how do I know what's a responsible or irresponsible use of a credit card where I'm buying something which I want now, but I don't need now, it's not something I must have. I don't need to have it. I want to have it. And I, don't, I actually don't have enough money at the end of the month to pay my credit card down in full. So what's going to happen? I'm going to pay somewhere between the minimum due and the full amount. And guess what? That means interest is going to kick in. So is that responsible? How do we help our children? So I'm going to share with you something that's extraordinarily simple. It starts with a balance sheet. Here's the balance sheet. We mentioned last time, give your children a means of earning money, starting around about six years old. I'm absolutely serious. Six, seven, eight. It's never too late, but start. Start somewhere. And the purpose of the allowance, it can be amount that you agree on with your wife, your husband. You must agree on how much you want to give your child. I, I, I just give a general suggestion of uh, uh, 25 cents per year of the child. So that would be about a dollar fifty a week. It adds up. Um, and have them write it down uh, have them write out, down the date. If they can't write properly yet, you'll help them. And what the description of the actual transaction is, and how much, uh, or if it's a withdrawal, and of course the balance. So th- this is a very simple balance sheet. You can replicate this online very easily. Um, I, I used to sell this. I don't, I don't anymore, so I've just got a few specimens left. But it's called the family bank. You, the parents, are the bank. You are the ones who control this. But you're giving the child an allowance so that it adds up on how much they, they're, they're getting over here. And what ends up happening is that when they want to take money out to buy something, they will write out a check. Here's, um, here's, their, here's their check. They write out a check to the bank, which is you. And you take the money out of the bank. Here's your bank envelope. You can make this yourselves, but this is, this is here, the family bank envelope. I just put a safe on the front there. You can easily design this to your, to your own needs. But the idea is that the child is the one who sees he's in control of his own money, his own spending. And you want him to buy rubbish, absolute nonsense items, so that he gets to feel, oh my gosh, I bought that and it just broke, just like mum and dad warned me. Um, oh, I, I bought that food, it was junk food, I ate it, I got stomachache, and it, just like I was warned. It's not really. And then when he realizes, what's he spending money? He will learn to hopefully from his mistakes while the stakes are down, are low. 
in his younger years as opposed to making mistakes when he's much older. <clears throat> Not a good idea. So these are simple ways. I'm going to share with you more tomorrow in terms of the, the checks, how to write out the check, how to make a deposit ticket for the child, and how to have the family bank um, balance sheet where you, the, the t- parents, are in control of the bank. And we're also going to learn how a child can uh, become, a, I call it a million dollar kid envelope, and also I call it, this is called a million dollar kid envelope, and also a, a buy a dream envelope. What's a buy a dream envelope? We're going to talk about that tomorrow, how children will learn to save, spend, invest, and give tzedakah, and invest for us, uh, save for items of greater value, and control the impulse to buy now, because they can see, oh, if I save this money, I'll get something of greater value tomorrow. It's very simple strategies. Hold on tight. Same channel, same time tomorrow. Carl